Welcome back to Fast Market here on the Schwab Network. It's time for cash tags. For that, let's bring in our next guest. That's going to be Andy Swan, co-founder at Like Bolio. Welcome back to the show, Andy. Thank you. All right. So we're talking CarMax. Stock's down 2% so far this year. It seems like, Andy, we've talked about, uh, you know, these used car retailers, CarMax, for years. Carvana really starting to get some good sentiment data uh, from what I remember for the last couple of times we talked about that one. It seems like these two companies have flip-flopped their popularity over the last uh, year or two years. Is that what you guys are seeing in the data? Because CarMax has been severely underperforming. Yeah, absolutely. I think the big conclusion here is that Carvana is simply a better company than CarMax. Uh, you know, if you look at every metric, um, you know, CarMax's profitability isn't the only thing being squeezed, their their total units sold was down 3%. Their average selling price was down 3%. Uh, their gross profit per unit actually fell uh, 1%. All the while, Carvana is absolutely dominating and growing their gross profit per unit and their number of units sold uh, to levels that are you know two, three times what CarMax can do from a profitability perspective. And so, uh, it's clear that Carvana is just the better run company. It has the better uh, strategy and is executing better. And consumers are going that route as well. Um, you know, Carvana web visits have overtaken CarMax. Uh, the consumer happiness levels for Carvana shoppers is significantly higher uh, than CarMax. And so it's kind of this uh, yeah, it's kind of a bludgeoning in terms of the competitive landscape, because not only is uh, Carvana, you know, winning the customer over and providing a better experience, but they're making more money while they do it than CarMax. And so it's really hard to see how this turns around for CarMax, because, yes, you know, interest rates falling can be a tailwind that used to be a headwind. Uh, for both of these companies, but you know, Carvana was slicing through those headwinds like a knife, and CarMax is just hoping things turn around so that they can get a little bit of buoyancy. And I think the difference between the two is just absolutely shocking at this point. Um, you know, we're we're really uh, we're, we're really, as you can tell, I'm just really down on CarMax. I think that they blew a generational opportunity to be a leader, and they gave it away, and Carvana stepped up and, and took it. Yeah, it's interesting, Andy. Carvana seems to be either just better than them or doing yep. something differently because uh, AutoNation, car sales down 5.6%. More comparable to CarMax than, say, a Carvana. So I guess the question is, what, what, what do you think they're doing differently? It appears these companies are all in the same business. Is one doing something different or, which, which is probably much more likely, and it goes back to your point, Carvana is just better, and it's doing all these things better than, than these other because, frankly, in the CPI data, used car prices are coming down. Yeah, you know, it's almost like if we rewind the clock and you ask me, you know, what's the difference between Netflix and Blockbuster? Is is Netflix just better? And the answer is yes. They have embraced, you know, CarMax have, has uh, not embraced the technologies that Carvana has. Um, they they have just in a, in a almost meaningless way. Carvana's gone all in on the technology and efficiencies uh, that they're able to produce. And it shows in the data, and you can't argue with the data. Um, Carvana at a $7,000 profit per unit versus CarMax at 2300 What that tells me is that when things do get somewhat competitive, Carvana is going to have significantly more wiggle room on both the price that they purchase cars and the price that they sell cars to the end consumer so that eventually they should win every single deal. And I think that's that's the um, the omen that's kind of hanging over this market in terms of Carvana's dominance over CarMax and, and quite frankly, all of its competitors. Yeah, that uh, first chart that you had, uh, Andy, on gross profit per unit on Carvana, and that continues to rise, by the way. Yes. That is astronomical compared to CarMax. I mean, yeah. CarMax has locations around the country, around big metropolitan areas, but Carvana's got a few, too. I'm just like I'm, I'm looking at that that data and just going. It blows my mind a little bit. Where 
I don't know how they're doing it, but they're doing it and they're doing something right. Yeah, it's, it's one of those charts where you look at and you think, well, either Carvana is going to win and dominate this industry or Carvana is lying about their numbers because there's almost no middle ground. Um, I don't think that they're lying about their numbers. I think um, that everything that we see from a consumer experience standpoint, uh, you know, sales volumes, growth, et cetera, it all points in the same direction. And that is uh, Carvana's the winner in this space. You know, it's almost like, Tom, to, to give a correlation, it's almost like when AMD started to, like, just beat Intel on a quarterly yeah. basis. Yes. And you step back and go, is this really happening? Right. Is this is right. this one count? Are they just that much better? And at the end of the day, the answer was, yes, they are that just much better. It feels like a similar comparison here. Yeah. Um, and, Andy, when you look at this stock, as I mentioned, down about 2% so far this year, far off of those all-time highs. And you broaden out a, a three-year chart here in CarMax. It reflects that nearly 156. We're trading 75 bucks. So the bar's low going into this one. Uh, what's your earning score on this? Yeah, the bar's low. I think CarMax can get under that bar, unfortunately. I th you know, I think we're going to have a, a negative reaction to this. I think we'll have a negative outlook. I'm extremely interested in hearing, you know, what I hope are some very pointed questions from analysts on that comparison directly to Carvana, because I think that's the main, uh, that is the main thing here. It's not interest rates. It's not the used car market. It's how you're doing versus this competitor that, by all accounts, is eating your lunch day in and day out. Yep. All right. Great stuff. As always, Andy, appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank you. All right. That's Andy Swan, co-founder at Likefolio, breaking down the data. I mean, if, if you 